for landed immigrants who are yearning to officially call themselves Canadian, July 1st is an appropriate day to reflect on the two-year pathway to citizenship. Permanent residents or refugees utilizing services at the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Centre are taking part in a free program helping them to prepare for their citizenship test. And at the same time, we're taking advantage of the opportunity to promote good citizenship values. Some 28 years ago, Canadian citizen Alvaro Moreno first arrived in Canada, a refugee from El Salvador. And as a measure of his success, he's been appointed to facilitate this one-of-a-kind face-to-face program here in Victoria, an idea that he hopes will spread across the country. Uh, this is a very recent contract. We started in November from scratch with the uh, objective of creating a curriculum to promote citizenship. The Canadian citizenship test was first revamped in 2010 in attempts to make it more challenging and with subsequent modifications failure rates across the country have increased. Very difficult. I had the opportunity to compare the old test with the new one and I'm telling you that the amount of tax, the wording is very very hard now compared to the old one. So people are really having a hard time uh, preparing for the test. It takes several weeks to get a retake, and if the applicant fails a second time, they have to go before a judge who might suggest they restart the entire process. We are from Guadalajara. That's why Angel Gallardo and his mother are studying hard for their test. They're permanent residents who came to Canada from Mexico seven years ago. Uh, we have uh, to study the whole week. Uh, yesterday we were studying into one in the morning, yeah. I believe so, one in the morning. And today more in the morning we'll woke up, have a coffee, study more. Passing the test is important for American import Laura Torbett. Here we see her taking part in a mock test to prepare her for the real thing sometime in the near future. Well, I've enjoyed learning about Canada because we don't learn much about it in the States. We learn more about England and the country to the north of us. I've been very fortunate to work in a cultural heritage institution and learn a lot about the history of British Columbia. And this class allows me to learn about the entire country, not just the province. It's the last phase in a 25-month application process costing her $200 a fee that might double later this year. Now, once you've passed the test like I did in 2010, you're invited to a ceremony. Hi, James Green. And after pledging your loyalty to the Queen, the moment you've been waiting for, a certificate of authenticity. Thank you. The next citizenship test in Victoria will be the day after Canada Day on July 2nd. In Victoria, I'm James Green.